session in Baltimore City focusing on the dynamic between teachers and students in many Baltimore City classrooms. The talk last night at Friends School of Baltimore was sparked by a book called The Guide for White Women Who Teach Black Boys. ABC 2's Eddie Kadem was there. A packed house for a discussion about race in the classroom. Teachers and parents calling the topic and opinions powerful and at points necessarily uncomfortable. A lot of times we tiptoe around the subject um, and so I think it's good to hear that and be like, okay, this is the deal. These are white women. They are teaching black boys. Maybe it's not the ideal situation, which I think is also great to recognize. Um, and just being able to say there is a racial difference. There are consequences of that, but there are things you can do, but you really have to work like very, very hard at it. Minority students make up 30% of the friend school. The man who runs the school wanted to open eyes that a divide does exist and they need to do everything they can to bridge it. The most powerful piece for me was when he spoke about uh, the experience that the mother of a, uh, an African-American boy shared with him where she said that his, he went to school whole and came home in pieces and that her job then was putting him back together each day and sending him back out the door. One white teacher says an early experience with a black student has helped her grow. I had an expectation and I went from there and that now I've learned and I have to constantly check myself, you know, and I think Eddie Moore Jr.'s um, statement at the end where he said, it's about action. If you're not acting, then you're not doing. Some black mothers happy so many teachers came out to hear the message. Having certain programs core to our, our black uh, initiatives and cultures and experiences would better help us in our uh, communities and collectively. One woman who teaches African-American future educators at Morgan State University says working with people who have knowledge that you don't can really help. It's about your teaching style, your instruction. So even if you identify with the students culturally and you come from the same background, you still have to evaluate and say, am I presenting them the way that they are learning? So discomfort is good because that leads to change. Interesting discussion. That was ABC2 News' Zeddy Kadem reporting. For more on that book and the topic, you can find that on our website, abc2news.com.